I was recently contacted by someone asking, could you resize images in Lightroom? And initially I thought, well, yes you can, but when did this come about? Because I'm sure that at one time you uh, couldn't actually do it and all you could do was actually downsize the image. So I checked back and actually um, I've managed to go all the way back to version four of Lightroom and you could resize there. So let's take a quick look at how to do this in the latest version of Lightroom. So here's the image I've got. Um, I shot it on a Canon 300D. Um, that's a six megapixel camera. It was taken around 10 years ago, maybe 12 years ago now. Um, and I like the image, but it's actually very small. So let's have a go at trying to resize it. Now, the way to do the resizing in Lightroom is when you come to export the image. So if I right click now on this image and I pick my export option, what I want to do is pick the export option from the sub menu that's got the little dots after it. Now what those dots mean, um, if you're not familiar with Windows, is that um, a dialogue will be displayed. So wherever you see in a menu dots like that, it actually means there's another dialogue that will allow you to actually uh, make settings. So here we go, exporting the file to our hard drive. So these are all the settings that you can uh, choose from in the latest version of Lightroom. So if you're using an older version, you're possibly going to see fewer settings, maybe they'll look a little different, but ultimately the same things exist. So in this first option here, we can check where we want to actually export the image to. And at the moment, this is going to go to my D drive, a folder called working area, images to process, and it's also going to be put into a subfolder called untitled exports. I can also rename the file if I wish, but um, I'm actually not going to rename it. I'll leave it with the original name. And in my file settings, I can choose the type of file that I want to produce. So in this instance, I'm going to choose an image format of TIFF. I'm not going to set any compression and I'm going to choose a bit depth of 16 bits because that gives me the best quality. In terms of color space, I'm not going to use the Pro Photo RGB. I'm going to actually pick the Adobe RGB. Now, it doesn't really matter too much for this black and white image, but uh, that's a good option to follow if you don't understand color space. The next thing is the all important um, option, which is image sizing. And here is where you can choose to resize the image. Now, there's a lot of options where you can pick the width and height, the dimension. I'm going to actually use the longest edge. So the longest edge is the vertical and I'm going to resize it to be um, 6,000, whoops, 6,000 uh, pixels high. And I'm going to make my resolution 300 pixels per inch. So that should give me a reasonable sized image. The other options that you can pick are things such as output sharpening. Well, I'm not going to do that. I can deal with that later. And also you can choose some of the metadata to include watermarking. And here's the important one I want to use post-processing so that what happens after the export is rather than do nothing, I'm going to open the image in Adobe Photoshop so that we can actually take a look at it. So here we go. Let's click that. And the software is now working. It's exported the image and here we are. If I now go to the image and I look at the image size, you can see here that we're now 4,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels at a resolution of 300 DPI. And if we take a look at that in inches, it's a 20 inch high image, 13 inches wide. If I zoom in, here you can see the detail in the image. And it's actually, considering how fast it uh, rendered this, it's done a very good job of actually producing it. Yes, the background's broken up a little bit, but that doesn't matter too much. Um, if I reduce the resolution to 
50%, it gives me an idea of what a print might actually look like. So I'd probably have to do some work in the sky, um, but the foreground's actually in very good shape indeed. So fit that back to the screen. There's the finished image, and that's how simple it is to resize images in Lightroom.